Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And a um, few of you have been asking me what is the update that was received in Microsoft Edge. Some of you had it late February 15th. Uh, also, it uh, could have been rolling out uh, yesterday, the 16th, and until today. So if you go to your Edge browser and you go to the upper right corner, three horizontal dots, help and feedback, and about Microsoft Edge, uh, we have had an update that goes to 121.0.2277.128. So this is not a security fix. Um, the security fix for Chromium seems that it might not be something that is a problem in Edge since there was no update for security. Or they are not going to issue it immediately. Maybe they're waiting. So um, this is actually a fix. So when you... Uh, use Edge. Every time you start the browser, it has a ability to import data and sync data from other browsers and other devices. Now, this was not implemented correctly, apparently, so it might not have worked the way that it uh, should have worked and might not have been displaying the correct message, so they just fixed that. I know that um, I had read somewhere that Edge was maybe importing data without user consent, although they do say it was with user consent. Maybe that's what they fixed. Maybe they just added the user consent to make sure that people understand that if you can you know, get data from like Google Chrome and so on when you open Edge, uh, but that uh, you have to agree to it or something. So anyways, um, whatever is the fix or what it actually does is apparently something that they are uh, they have fixed. So if it was just a problem of sync, syncing data between browsers, uh, then that should be fixed now. So no security update, nothing to rush, nothing to, you know, you don't have to update if you don't want to, especially if you're not using Edge. Uh, this does not have anything to do with security for now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.